All right, so I just finished the new Jack Reacher book. Uh, it's called Blue Moon. Um, I listened to the audio version, as always. I think I've only read one of them, or I'm actually reading. And um, I, I, it's mainly because I, well, for one, I, I listen to them while I'm driving. For two, uh, I fell in love with the the voice uh, the voice actor who was reading all of the Reacher books and actually became friends with him on Facebook and it turns out his name is Dick Hill and it turns out I was friends with him or I, I was I knew him actually through like past family acquaintances and stuff it's, it's pretty crazy how it worked out but um I looked him up based on the fact that I loved his ability to portray Reacher the way he did but anyway um he is no longer the person he has retired, and now they have a new guy for the past two books who is doing really good. I, I don't have any complaints about the guy who's reading. He's doing a very good job. You know, to me, it's still like I miss my buddy Dick Hill reading the book. But this guy is doing just fine. I can't complain at all. Um, so anyway, Blue Moon. Uh, in this story, I'm not going to give away spoilers and stuff like that. So don't don't worry about that. I was going to give you a general outline and, and tell you what I thought of the book. Uh, basically, Reacher goes into this town, uh, as always, you know, gets off the bus into town, and um, he ends up getting mixed up with these Albanian and uh, Ukraine Ukrainian mobsters, right? They're rival mobsters. He ends up in the middle of it somehow. Basically, um, he's helping out this family who has gotten in serious, serious debt with the mobsters. Um, and the reason they're in so much debt is because they're trying to uh, pay out of pocket to uh, pay for their daughter's cancer treatment. It's really, it's really quite fucked up. So, um, and, um, you know, these, these guys are leg breakers, man. They're, they're, they're coming after these people who owe them thousands and thousands of dollars and, and, and day by day, they're owing the hospital more and more money, and they have to keep going getting these loans and, and trying to pay them back. So, um, ends up meeting a girl in the process, as always. Um, I'll just give you a, a general my general thoughts on the book. It's not in my top five. However, it was really good. Um, I think there's, what, 25 or 26 Reacher books now? Um, and that's not including, like, the, the little one-shots, the little short stories. Um, I really enjoy this story, um, but there are some of them that are just so killer. Like, oh my god. Um, so not in my top five, but definitely a solid Reacher book. Um, the last two Reacher books, this and The Midnight Line, have been the Reacher that I enjoy. Um, the, the Reacher that I fell in love with, the kicking ass kicking so much ass, he has no time to take names, um, badass, gunfights, um, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat, kicking ass, like, that's the Reacher that I like, and, um, for two, like, before these last two books, there was, like, two or three in a row that were, I don't know, kind of slow, man, it just didn't seem like the same thing, and I, I even made a, a video about, uh, I think it was Past Tense was the last one I reviewed, before Midnight Line, and, um, yeah, I, you could tell in the video, I'm like, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't that good, um, it was one of my least favorites, you know, like, those, um, I don't like a lot of the ones where it goes deep into his past, I like the present day ones, which, this is a present day story, um, other than the short stories, I, 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 I just, I don't know, I don't like them as much when they go back to his military career, because it seems like he's a little more, conservative he's a little more controlled because he's in that uh, government capacity where he's he has no fucking rules when he's just a wanderer so um the book was solid good another great jack reacher novel um definitely we're back on the right track with the last two books and um but not top five material still a solid book though i'd love to hear what you guys think let me know in the comments below uh thanks for watching if you like stuff like this where i talk about movies books um TV series, comic books, nerd shit, pop culture, stuff like that. Subscribe for more, because that's what I do here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.